My family, I'm so sick and tired of seeing racist individuals try to blame Megan for making Britain look bad on the global stage. First of all, it is not Megan's fault. When Britain left the European Union in what is called Brexit, that alone made the country look so, so bad. My family, that in itself, it made the country look extremely so, so bad. You can't blame the victims of abuse, Harry and Meghan, for escaping abuse and then telling the entire world exactly what you did to them. My family, it's high time these abusers understand. When you abuse someone, they have a right to speak up. And that is what Harry and Meghan did. And I'm proud of what Harry and Meghan did. Them speaking up. And speaking out against the racist UK terrible press. That has constantly attacked, hounded, harassed Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And my family, Dr. Shola, Dr. Shola, an amazing woman, went to Jeremy Vine's show. And my family, I want you to hear exactly what she said. My family, because apparently Jeremy Vine on their show today, my family, they were asking this question. Do Harry and Meghan deserve TV award? That is what they were asking. My family, one thing that these individuals hate so much is seeing Harry and Meghan thriving. They don't like it one bit. My family. And the person who was asking this is Storm Hartley, my family. And my family, I want you to hear exactly what was said by Dr. Shola. Please kindly look at this. I love what Dr. Shola always says, my family. Please kindly look at this. Um, I think the bottom line for this documentary is that. It was not only incredibly well streamed, the content itself for a lot of people came across as powerful because they were telling their side of the story and responding to a lot of the information that had come out from the royal family against them, about them. And it was the first time, for instance, them also responding to the, the, but the they reception. they were questioned they all, forensically by but, anybody, but, were but they? But they were responding to also the reactions from the opera interview. And when you say nobody was forensically interviewing yeah. them. It wasn't an I'm investigative sorry. documentary. Well, thank you. It was not meant to be an investigative documentary. And the royal family has never been forensically interviewed about things that they have released about Harry and, and Meghan. Exactly, my family. No one has ever gone to Prince William and asked William this question. Why, William, are you leaking stories about Harry and Meghan? To the UK tablet press. No one has ever gone to William and asked him, Why, William? Why did you authorize your own employee, Jason North, to issue a statement against Megan in court? No one. Nobody. Not a single road expert or anyone who calls themselves a journalist, a reporter, has ever, ever asked William. That kind of question. Or those kind of questions, my family. Nobody. But yet, you always hear this nonsense. Oh, Harry and Meghan betrayed, you know, the royal family when they did Oprah, when they did the Harry and Meghan documentary. My family, these people really expected for Harry and Meghan to take all the abuse and keep their mouths shut. All those stories, negative stories, 
about Harry and Meghan attributed to palace sources, palace insiders, you know, as they like to say, a source close to William, a source close to Charles. My family, a palace source, palace insiders, all those sources, all those stories, my family, that were negative from palace sources about Harry and Meghan, they wanted Harry and Meghan just ignore it. And just take all the lies, all the hate that was being whipped up against both Harry and especially against Meghan. And my family, even in the Harry and Meghan docu series, there is something that someone said in the Harry and Meghan docu series about this hate campaign towards Meghan, the Duchess of. Sussex, my family. And my family, please kindly hear what was said by someone who's a friend of Megan. Please kindly hear this, my family. And I quote, When you whip up people into a fervent of hate, it's not one of those cases of sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. They can kill you. The threat is real the threat is real the threat is real the threat is real my family so Harry Megan had every right to respond to every lie told about them coming from palace sources my family no one ever asks why is it that the palace was leaking negative stories about Harry and Meghan to the press. No one asks that question. No one cares to ask that question, my family. Especially those who abuse and harass Harry and Meghan. You know, when they go to interview Prince William for his so-called PR project, that he says he wants to end homelessness in the UK. My family, when William goes to his PR project or does his PR project, my family, you never hear when he's being interviewed by role experts. You never hear him being asked, William, why did you authorize your employee to issue a statement against Megan in court? Megan was suffered a miscarriage. You never ever hear that from role experts. Because somehow it's okay in the minds of the UK media for Harry and Meghan to be attacked, abused, bullied. But it's not okay for the victims of abuse, Harry and Meghan, to respond to the attacks that are waged against them constantly on a daily basis. My family. That is something which you, which you see consistently happening. Somehow, you know, no one bothers to say that the royal family should have stopped, stopped leaking against Harry Meghan. Nobody says that. But somehow, it's Harry Meghan who should not tell the story. Meanwhile, as they invite people on their TV shows to talk about Harry Meghan, to badmouth Harry Meghan, my family, Harry and Meghan, had every single right to respond to the attacks that were being waged against them and the hate that UK media were creating, spreading about Harry and Meghan. My family, they created stories full of lies to smear Harry and Meghan's name. People were offered money to lie about Megan, like Simon Rex, was offered up to $70,000 to lie that he had slept with Megan. My family, I'll never ever forget that. Now, that is proof and evidence of the lengths UK tablets were willing to go to just to smear Megan's name, just to destroy Megan. 
my family please kindly also continue hearing this my family please kindly hear this interviewed about things that they have released about harry and, uh, and megan so i think it should work both ways and okay. i don't think this was meant to be investigative it was meant to be them telling an observation and, of and their they story. also they also yeah. had experts on there to talk about the impact of the environment in terms of brexit in terms and the culture in terms of racism i think and all of that spoke it, strongly I, I mean i thoroughly enjoyed the documentary and i think putting their situation in context and bringing up all these other issues was incredibly compelling actually i think just netflix has it absolutely but if it had been a panorama it's the music as well that gets me i'm in there with the music if it had been a panorama all those claims would have been tested of course they would but it and wasn't none a of the claims were tested but it wasn't so a panorama i agree it's really, really powerful, powerful. i know it's really sources. i know it's really powerful but i also think that it's been quite damaging internationally because for all the for the country this in the image of us as a country okay. <laughs> well, <that's, you> <laughs> my family that's the part i wanted you to first of all just hear those accusations that somehow because Harry Meghan did the docuseries, that Harry did his memoir spare, that somehow it was damaging to Britain. You know, my family, the tabloids only needed to do one thing, back off of Harry Meghan. My family, the fact is that ever globally has seen is that Meghan, a biracial black woman, was hounded out of the royal family with constant abuse her son was racially abused my family and not a single comment to condemn those attacks from the royal family the world has seen that the world has taken note the royal family never ever lifted a finger to condemn the abuse the racism directed towards Megan. As a matter of fact, from Harry's memoir spare, we learn that Charles was angry. William was angry that Harry dared to issue a letter condemning racism against his then girlfriend Megan. You know, imagine being angry that your son, your brother, has issued a letter or a comment to condemn racism against someone they love. Someone that he loves, my family. Imagine being angry about that. And that is what Charles and William were angry about. Angry towards Harry. My family. And yet William says, we are very much not a racist family. And every single day, these so-called role experts they embarrass themselves every single time they keep demanding for Harry to come back to the UK by force, alone, without his wife, Megan, and without his kids. My family, they are showing the racism that we all know and can be able to see that exists in Britain. That Megan, a woman of color, was never ever welcomed in the royal family never she was abused insulted mistreated they made her cry and Megan almost thought of taking her own life because of the constant attacks and abuse from the UK tabloid press and also clearly from senior members of the royal family from Charles to William to Kate and Camilla. All of them were in on it. They were leaking negative stories about Harry and Meghan, especially about Meghan, because Meghan was the target and still is the target as they continue to hope that somehow these attacks will drive Meghan away from Harry, will force Meghan to say, hey, look, I give up. It's over. I just want these attacks to stop. That is what they want to happen. For Megan to leave Harry and for Harry to be left alone. Somehow they hope that Harry will have nowhere to go to but to come back to the UK. That is where they are laying all their cards. And my family, by doing that, they are continuing to embarrass 
Britain globally. We are seeing how poorly Meghan continues to be treated even after fleeing the UK. My family, people can see that my family, they are treating Meghan as if she was a runaway slave. That's how they have been treating Meghan. And my family, it needs to stop. They need to leave Harry and Meghan alone and focus on the taxpayer-funded royals they have in the UK and leave Harry and Meghan alone, my family. Even today, my family, you have a segment about Harry and Meghan on Jeremy Vine's show. A segment about Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan who fled the UK three years ago. But once again, they have to add a segment about Prince Harry and Meghan. My family, it's utterly pathetic. It's utterly pathetic and just so, so desperate. The obsession they have on Harry and Meghan is too much. It's too much, my family. It's high time they let Harry and Meghan go. They were the ones who bullied Meghan to the point that she had no choice but to flee from the UK. They thought that Harry would stay. They were wrong. Harry chose and continues to choose his wife and kids. So my family, it's high time this individual, my family, stop blaming Meghan for what they did, for their actions. Instead of treating Meghan with respect and dignity. Instead of doing that, they poorly treated Meghan that Meghan had no choice but to flee the UK. That is what they did. And Meghan left. And she ain't coming back. After all the abuse they put her through. And Harry also is not coming back. Arch and Lily are not coming back. After what they have been put through by the UK tablet press. So my family, abusers should blame themselves for Harry and Meghan fleeing the UK. Those who leaked negative stories about Harry and Meghan to the press, they should blame themselves for Harry and Meghan having to respond to those lies that they leaked about Harry and Meghan. And Harry and Meghan had every right in the world to set the record straight. And I'm glad that they did. Because that is the right thing to do. This hate campaign, my family, has brought out the worst in people. Just a few days ago, my family, I showed you a clip from that woman called Tina Knight, my family. She was asked what Megan did wrong. She said, read the papers. My family. It's like, they don't know why they hate Megan. They don't know why they hate Megan. They hate Megan because they've been told by the racist UK tabloids to hate Megan. That's why they hate Megan. Not because she's ever done anything wrong. She's just a woman, a woman of color, who fell in love with the white prince. And the tablets and the royal family did not like that. William, Charles, especially William, did not like that. And he plotted, and even right now continues to plot to destroy Harry and Meghan. My family, he'll never ever succeed. My family, please continue hearing this what was said. But Britain embarrassed itself when it poorly treated Meghan. They embarrassed themselves. When they did Brexit, they embarrassed themselves, my family. Stop blaming Harry and Meghan for how poorly you are now being viewed globally. My family, continue looking at this, please, my family.
as a country. Okay. Well, well, that's you can't. Um, I am uh, not going to blame aside. Harry and Meghan for the impact and choices made by people in the royal family. People what about have their choices? No, let me, no, no, let me, let me finish. I'm not going to blame them for that because this country was already in a set spit of racism and race relations issue before they came, before they so showed up. So you're saying that we too are part of this set spit then? We, we all are. And we, see, I take issue with that because you don't know me. No, and you're making an assumption about the individual. I'm talking about, about collective responsibility and I'm also talking about individual responsibility. What do we as individuals do when we vote in people who are not interested in protecting others, who are interested in pushing against the marginalized. It's not generalization. It, it's not generalization it because it all rules on it. has a role on impact. Brexit itself helped to push divisive rhetoric in this country that impacted marginalized people. And that's because some of us, and I say some because I most definitely did not, voted in a party that is not fit to function. This is part of the problem. So I'm talking about collective responsibility and individual responsibility. I, I love don't it need in to know debate. you personally. I'm Thank you so much. Dr. Shola. Thank you so much for exposing and telling the truth. Stop blaming Harry Meghan for your own poor choices. My family, they voted for the Tory, for the Tories, my family, in the UK, which is now the ruling party as of now, my family, because Madoc wanted them to be in power. And look what has happened. The economy in the UK is suffering. Because people were lied to. That somehow Brexit will be good for them. They were lied to. And my family, they are looking for, to blame anyone else for the mistakes that they themselves have done. Meghan did not vote for Brexit, my family. Harry did not vote for Brexit. Stop blaming Harry Meghan for your own poor choices. And my family, the world saw exactly how poorly they treated Meghan and the world will never ever forget. The world shall never ever forget. And I'm happy to see that Dr. Shola does not allow my family this woman, whose name is Lori Tana, to blame Megan for their own actions, for what they themselves have done. My family, please kindly also continue hearing more on what was said, my family. It's important you hear this because I most definitely did not, voted in a party that is not fit to function. This is part of the problem. So I'm talking about collective responsibility and individual responsibility. I, I love don't need to know debate. you personally. Yeah. I'm talking about myself too. What am I but doing? Making I just love the fact that when you don't it, know them, I think is a really dangerous thing to do. And I wouldn't make an assumption about you. I've not I made an assumption about you. I have made a I'm correct part assumption. Of this sex pit, apparently. I have made a correct assumption about our country. Yeah, your opinion. You no, made, no, no, no. You, I you have voice made, an opinion. I most definitely have made. Okay, we're moving. We're moving off topic, but I do. I do love how Shola country. managed to get criticism of the government in about a documentary over <laughs> Meghan and Harry. That was very impressive. My family, you've heard that. What was said, my family? And my family, also, Prince Harry, in his witness statement, said something very, very important about the UK media. They get the public angry over the most mundane or petty things to distract from the critical issues plaguing the country. My family, like what is the economic failings right now in the UK, in Britain, because of Brexit, my family. And my family, and they use these culture wars, a story about how to make it is created. And then they tell the public to be angry about this. Right now, it's do Harry Meghan deserve a TV award? They are trying to get some haters to go and react angrily because Prince Harry Meghan were nominated for the Hollywood Critics Award, my family, HCA. My family, you know, some people should wake up and see how they are being distracted, my family. 
Harry and Meghan fled the UK three long years ago. And they live in the US. Right now, they live in the US. Lily Bet was born in the US. Meghan is staying and working in the US. Harry also has a job with better up in the US. Archie is growing up in the US. Going to school in the US. And they are busy minding their own business and living their own lives, my family. It's high time. The tablets. If they want to get stories, let them look elsewhere. Let them look to Prince William, to Kay Milton, to Charles, to Camilla. Let them look to them to stories or drama. So I know they're so boring, but let them just look to them and leave. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex alone. That is what they do need to do. And my family, allow me to read some comments, you know, from members of the squad who have watched the clip that I just showed you all, my family. Now, someone said this. Bravo, Dr. Shola. Karen Laurie was already playing the victim card. Racism against Harry, Meghan, and their kids happened. And it's still happening. Does Lori Turner want to deny that UK neo-Nazis targeted Harry and Meghan's son? Because we have proof. There is racism in the UK. And the whole family is perpetuating it. Is perpetuating it using their UK Tablets, my family. Indeed, very, very true, my family. And it's high time they stop and they call off their hounds, the UK media, to stop going after Harry Meghan. It's high time they call them off. Someone say this, my family, that love the way that the right wing, like Loritana, are so very annoyed that after five years of having their story told, for them with malice and untruths by palace sources. Harry and Meghan told it freely. Is Lori not upset that raw reporters and members of the royal family, like Charles and William, are not cross-examined? Of course, she's not upset about that. She's upset that Harry and Meghan got the chance to tell their own story. My family, and that exposed the racism in the UK and the bigotry of the UK tabloid press and how they are ruining the UK. My family, someone said this. Thank you, Shola, for holding a mirror up to that woman's face. She said to blame Harry and Meghan for making that country look bad. Brexit alone made the UK look bad. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Very very true, my family. My family. Well said, Dr. Shola. Someone say, my family. I agree, Shola. Britain has always had racism. Then along came Brexit to expose how deeply rooted it is. My family, indeed, very, very true. And also, don't forget what they did to Megan. What they put Megan through. A woman of color almost took her own life because of the abuse of the UK media. My family, we must never ever forget that. What they put Megan through. So my family, Harry and Megan had every right to tell their own story. And it's high time the so-called role experts or carnival or so-called experts to stop blaming Harry and Megan because Britain looks bad. That ain't Harry and Megan's fault. That ain't Harry and Meghan's fault. Stop blaming the victims for the actions of the abusers. The UK Tabloid Media and also senior members of the royal family like William and Charles. Stop blaming the victims, Harry and Meghan, for the evil actions done against them by the royal family and the UK Media. Harry and Meghan did the right thing. When you're abused, speak up. Don't let anyone ever tell you to keep your mouth Shut. Silence only empowers the abuser. Silence only sends a message to the abuser to continue 
he's abused. So don't keep quiet when you're abused. Speak up. And thank you, Dr. Shola, for everything that you said. You said the very truth. My family, he never wins. Love wins. And with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Love you. Always and forever. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Nebedana, and Doria Raglan. All of you members of the squad at home. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you. Always and forever. God bless you all, my family. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.